Hi guys and welcome back to Simple Things Done Right. I'm Gemma. I'm Harry. And today is Saturday Reactions. Um, it's going to be a little bit mixed up compared to how we normally do it. Normally, obviously, we choose one person out of the three that we give a shout out to on Monday and then do a reaction video to like one of their videos. But I also need to do a response video to Catwoman to about to the Catwoman two thousand five, aka Cat, about her video. Let's talk about all things movies because I don't know if you've seen um, one of our previous videos. We explain that she's trying to get a debate going about different topics every now and then when she decides to talk about a topic and she wants response videos and comments in her video, in, you know, in the comments down below. So we're responding to let's talk all things movies, but we're also going to do a reaction to it because I've seen it already, but Harry hasn't. It kind of intertwines because um, we need to do a response to that video anyway. So, yeah, we'll be watching this. Uh, pausing that at relevant parts, speaking about what we think about the movies she likes and then at the end we'll talk about the movies that we like. Okay, let's get into it. I do like a good disaster film. Um, like The Core is quite a good one, Day After Tomorrow, things like that I like. I like watching The Welcome to an End. I don't know what it is about watching The Welcome to an End, but I really like a good disaster film. What's that film called with the rock in? Um, when he's on a helicopter, that's a bit of a disaster film. Um, Santa Andreas. Santa Andreas, I think that's the yeah. yeah, Santa Andreas. San Andreas, well, yeah. yeah. San Andreas, that's an absolutely amazing, in our opinion, disaster film. Can you think of any you like? 2012 was amazing. I'm not entirely sure I remember that. Have we watched it together? I don't think so. No, I'm not sure I've watched that one. Um, but overall, my main kind of favourite films have to be probably romance or comedy romance. Something that is going to bring me to tears. Something that has a good heart-filled storyline in it that I like. Harry, I'd like to ask you a question. When we first met, what did you say your favourite all-time film was? P.S. I Love You. Yeah. P.S. I Love You, which I can't knock is a really good uh, film and, yeah, it just ties into the whole romance. And there is comedy thrown in as well, isn't there? It's a really, really good film. Well, oh. now... Let's just talk through these, shall we? <laughs> so, the top shelf here, we have my box set. Straight off the bat, I know Harry will be eyeing up the Friends box set. He absolutely loves Friends. I can't say, I know it's really con controversial. I do like it. I haven't watched them all by any stretch of the imagination. I've only watched the odd one that's been on television. I can appreciate it's good. And also... At school, in like a school play, we had to sing the theme tune, and that's always stuck in my head ever since. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was sat here laughing about at me now, so we're gonna play the video. <laughs> Shelf with all of these are basically TV programs. Lost was an amazing series, absolutely amazing. I agree with that. We did try and watch it again recently, but we got distracted, didn't we? Yeah, it's a lot to watch in one go. Yeah. I mean, you had breaks, didn't you, when it was on for? Um, well, it's one of those ones that really messes with your head if you try and watch it too much at once. Yeah, I agree. And especially now we know the outcome. So, well, I remember the outcome, but if I was to re-watch it, I'd probably forget the outcome just so I could rediscover it all again. You'd probably pick up, like when you watch things for the second time, it's like you pick up on stuff that's... You didn't pick Maybe up on the before. fourth time for me. Fourth time. Well, I think um, when I watch something again, it's like you're not having to, like, we've lost. I was constantly trying to guess, like, what's happened, you know, what's the ending going to be. But now I know it, I can kind of watch it with a bit more ease. Press play, shall we? Let's start off with the one and only Friends. Probably one of the best TV programmes ever to be on TV. I agree with that, but only because I've probably watched all of Friends about six or seven times over by now. <laughs> all in a row, all just like... Yeah. Oh, wow. In one Friends marathon. 
Oh, each time. Yeah. And that's not including the times it's been on TV and I've watched it. <laughs> no. Um, I know there's a question coming up here that you're going to want to answer. Put down in the comment section below, no falling out, who is your favourite Friends character? It's got to be Joey. <laughs> He's the comedian of the bunch. Yeah. The others bring a certain summit to him, but Joey, he makes the friendship seem real. Yeah, he really does. And uh, I like uh, Chandler as well. See, my second one would probably be... No, 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 not Chandler. I got the name wrong. <laughs> That's how much I watch it. Ross. I really like Ross. I'd like probably her. say... It's Joey, then Rachel, then Chandler. Would you? Yeah. Rachel, she starts off very dipsy in it, then she blossoms into this quite smart person in it. Really? I've not watched enough to know that. But let's get that debate going now. Who is the best one out of these lot? Personally, for me... They are, I, I like them all in their own individual wa ways, but my favourite probably has to be Joey. Matt LeBlanc, because he's, well, he's just a hottie and he was really funny. Then here we have the spin-off series. We have Joey and Courtney Parks in Cougar Town. Enjoy them. Well, have you watched Joey? No. No, I, I knew when it was on, but. I didn't know it ran for more than one series. Nor did I. And Cougar Town. I'm going to have to get that. Cougar Town, I've never heard of. No, nor have I. I mean, she's just said the spin off series. I don't. It's like literally Cougar Town got um, Monica in. Must do. We'll have to have a look. But I remember Friends ending with Monica having twins and married to Chandler, so. Oh. I don't know how that would work if it's a spin off. Interesting. We'll have to have a look. We're coming over here and I'm going to talk about Robin Hood. Jonas Armstrong, absolutely fantastic, amazing TV series. Love, love, love Robin Hood. This is incredible. I will tell you for now, I'm not going to say what happened because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's going to go and watch this. The final series and the final episode, I've only ever watched it once. For simple reason is, the last episode makes me cry like a baby. I absolutely love this series. I think it's absolutely hilarious that she's had the decency to say to people, oh, I'm not going to say what happens at the end because I don't want to spoil it for people. And you've just gone and ruined the end of Friends for, like, anybody that's not watched it. Come on, who hasn't watched Friends by this point? Well, yeah, I guess. But I have to admit, I'm seeing one box set there that I absolutely adore. What, that's a... Two points lager and a packet of crisps. Yeah, that is awesome. Hopefully she talks about that. I can't remember. Oh, good. Then we've got Jennifer Love Hewitt in The Ghost Whisperer, which is really good. Any of you budding detectives out there? The Criminal Minds? Kind of like... That is awesome. Yeah. I absolutely love that. I've only watched some of season one. I haven't watched the rest. Yeah, we watched them together, didn't we? Yeah. Um... Saw was an amazing set. I want to rewatch them. Waterloo Road. Final Destination. They're an amazing set of films. Yeah. Basically, we should let her talk about them first. <laughs> yeah. You're just scanning the room, looking at all these DVDs and thinking... Planet oh, of the Apes was amazing. I want this DVD collection. <laughs> Only I'm too lazy to put DVDs in anymore. We're trying to work out who did it and everything, which is good. Vampire Diaries. Awesome. Saw, one of my favourite horror films, the one of the only horror thriller films that I really like. Waterloo Road, a really good TV series. The Final Destinations. See, I liked Final Destination up to a point. I think they overdid it. See, I like how they did it because the final film starts where the first film... Began. The final film ends yeah. where the first film began. Yeah. So it's like they've gone in one giant circle. Yeah. If you remember watching it. Isn't that a bit like Jeepers Creepers as well, though? Um, or, possibly, yeah. Or did that do a first no, one? that did a first one, then a couple of years on, 
then he went back to the third one, which left off where the first one began. So that was in the middle. Yeah. And one film that is slowly becoming my favourite is Planet of the Apes. And the reason why it's slowly becoming one of my favourite films is because every time they bring a new one out, they get better. Like most films that come, sequels that come out, they get rubbish as they go along. Whereas the last one of this that were brought out was probably the best. It is amazing. I don't know if any more of these are going to come out because it kind of seemed to end. But Planet of the Apes, top film. Absolutely love it. Now, I have not watched all the Planets of the Apes. I think I watched the first ever one. That was about it. Have you watched? I watched the original Planet of the Apes, which is still to this day an amazing oh, yeah. film set. Is that not the one she's talking about? They all No, remakes? they're the remakes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I do want to like stress that I agree with her point on generally films, the sequels, they just get worse, don't they? Generally, Alien was good. They did some good sequels of that. Yeah, true. Alien Predator, Alien and Predator as well. Yeah. There's, it depends though because sometimes they do a good first film that they make it impossible for the next one to be as good. Yeah, that's true. Set a benchmark, don't they? Yeah. And they just can't beat it. Next shelf down. This is my favourite actors and favourite actresses shelf. This shelf I absolutely love and I need it in my life. Well, for one, I can see... Oh, what's his name now? Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Yeah. I think he's an absolutely amazing person. What? He's very funny when it comes to his films. I haven't found a film I've watched of his that I haven't found funny. My two favourite actors and actresses I'd go my favourite actor ever Adam Sandler and then I'd go my favourite actress at the minute I'd say Melissa McCarthy oh god quite often we search for her yeah she is a good one she's brilliant I've watched her in quite a few TV programmes over the years but she's really coming to her own in the movies she started doing Tammy now that was a great film that had her in like what was the one where she was in where she was a bridesmaid. Was that not called bridesmaid? I think it was. Because I get confused. And the bridesmaid that got dumped got really upset with the one that was getting married. Yeah, that might have been... Because I think there's two bridesmaid films that I get confused with. And she was in one of them, wasn't she? Yeah. Let's start off with the one and only Jim Perry. Ace Ventura. Come on. Who can say a word about Jim Carrey bad? True. He's an amazing act. I don't think Ace Ventura Pet Detective would have been the same if they'd cast someone else. No, not at all. Was he, um, there's a film I'm thinking of now that I think he was in. Bruce about... Almighty? No. It was to do with, um, a TV. Oh, I might have to come back to this one. Something to do with a TV, any. Was that Bruce? No, no, he was being filmed for the day. Was that Jim Carrey? No, he's t he was like on TV, sorry, and he didn't realise his life was being broadcast to like the world. I know the one, I can't think of the name. Is that him in that? Might be. If any of you's watching knows that film, can you let us know? Yeah, definitely. You just cannot beat it. That is just one of the best films. So funny. And, of course, The Mask is unbelievably hilarious. And then, of course, Dumb and Dumber. How can you beat Dumb and Dumber? It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Another funny person, Adam Sandler. Absolutely love Adam Sandler. Probably my favourite has to be Big Daddy. I like Big Daddy. I've lost the cover to this. Um, I like Big Daddy. And I probably like Fifty First Dates and Mr Deeds is good as well. Then, over here... The one and only Will Smith. Now, I don't think you've seen it. Have you seen Hitch? Yeah, yeah, I have. I think that's an amazing good film for him. But, and I know you're going to agree with me in here, I think you are, his best ever film, do you know? Seven Pounds. Oh, yes, Seven Pounds. 
You cannot be that film. Wow. So emotional. Wow. We watch it quite often, don't we? And every single time. It's like a yearly thing for us, isn't it, at least? It brings a tear to the eye. We cry every single time. That final scene. Yeah, don't say anything. Because we urge everybody go and watch Seven Pounds. Please. Look like Will Smith. Absolutely brilliant actor. The Hitch probably is my favourite. I've probably seen that one in the cinema. God knows how many times. Three or four times. And then, obviously, the Cynic Lords on DVD. Next, Cameron Diaz. She is so funny. I don't think I've got a lot of films with Cameron Diaz. The Sweetest Thing probably has to be my favourite one. That's a good film. This sex tape, however, as much as I like Cameron Diaz, not the biggest fan of this. It's not that funny. I agree with that. Yeah. It was just oh, too trying. They tried too hard with it. A film I do like that's similar to that, that I feel like they've kind of... Well, no, it's not even similar but it's you know it's to do with sex blah 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 what's that one um it's got the funny names i don't know so and so and so and so do a sex tape whatever oh so and it's got um I know the one you're thinking of but i can't think of the names that's on it it's like you want to say something like it's obviously not more and mindy because you know them from years ago, but it's like, Bardi Bar and Bardi Bar make a sex tape. I don't know. We'll have to have a look at this. We'll have a look. A bit funnier than what it was. But yeah. Um, Jennifer Anstead from Friends, of course. Amazing actor, actress. Marley and Me. Amazingly good film. Then. Now I've not watched Marley and Me once without crying. Yeah, it's a sad film. Anything like. Um... Anything like that with dog skin. Like, I am such a pet lover and I get more upset about a dog dying than an actual human. <laughs> That's actual truth, especially in films. Yeah. No one wants to see an animal suffer, do they? Well, it was done so well. Yeah, amazingly. And I think um, the guy in it, um, I just forget his name. I never watched Marley and Me too, though. Oh, no. I know they did a second one, but I never watched it. Owen Wilson, is that his name? Yeah. I feel like he hit his peak there, and I don't like him in many other things. No. Um, I don't know. I think it's um, whether he's acting like a bit of an idiot, but whether he actually is, I don't know. He might be a nice guy, really, but he comes across a bit arrogant, but then he's playing a character, isn't he? Yeah. One actress that might surprise you. Jennifer Lopez. Not a lot of people know about Jennifer Lopez and films that she's been in. These Angel Eyes, Gigi, this one's a good one. This one's got um, Ben Affleck in it as well, which is an, a good film. Now, I spoke to Kat about this last night, and I said I loved her in Made in Manhattan. That was a great film, and I loved the, the theme song to that, um, Big Yellow Taxi or whatever it's called. Yeah. Big Yellow, yeah. Um, and then she reminded me, and I totally forgot about this, that she was the school teacher in Jack. Oh, yeah. You know, when he gives her the, um, is it, I want to say, is it jelly beans? It's not, is it? No. What are those sweets? I can't think off the top of my head now. Oh, it's gone. But she wanted the red one anyway. I can't remember what yeah. it was. Whatever probably has to be enough. If you've not watched this... Go give this a watch because it is incredible. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but go and watch that. I've not watched that, have you? No. We'll have to have a look up for that in a bit, won't we? Yeah. Next shelf down, random films. Pitch Perfect, me and Rebecca enjoy that. Sausage Party, I bought that thinking it was going to be funnier than what it was. But actually... I think it's pretty pants. It is a bit of a naff film. Rebecca enjoys it. But yeah, it's not as funny as I, I thought it was going to be. Did we, if we got that on the Skybox, did we yeah. buy that? Um, I didn't like it, did I? Did you? I really liked it. Yeah. I thought it was funny. No, it wasn't my sort of sense of humour at all. But well, you see, I have a weird sense of humour so the adverts made it look really good but I think they included the best bits yeah 
which is getting really annoying with adverts for films because you've pretty much been shown the entire movie. That's why I quite don't quite often don't watch trailers anymore. Melissa McCarthy. Now this is a, quite another good actor. Actress. She's really funny. She is. No, that was an amazing film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. And surprisingly, we spoke about her not too long ago. Yeah, very true. Um, we will. Uh, I would compare that very much to Tammy. It's like a totally different storyline, but the funny, the funniness, the amount of humour in that is just equal to um, Tammy. Like there's, they're, they're on par. They're brilliant films. If you like that, you're gonna love Tammy. Starred in a few funny films. Sandra Bullock as well. This one's a good one with Sandra Bullock. She's a good actress and funny. Um, Grease, she can't beat Grease. Sandra Bullock, quickly, sorry. I love in Miss Congeniality. That's an absolutely amazing film. Um, Spider-Man, I love the Spider-Man. This, out of all of them, has probably got to be my favourite out of all the Spider-Mans. I like that one. Um... Was that the Amazing Spider-Man or the original Spider-Man movie she did? I don't know. What, should I try and rewind it? Yeah, it's the Amazing... I like movies. the original. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spider-Man, I love the Spider-Man. This, out of all of them, has probably got to be my favourite out of all the Spider-Mans. I like that one. Um, What's your reasoning for liking the original better? I just think the costume was done a lot better and... The story was a lot flowing a lot easier. I wasn't a fan of the Amazing Spider-Man stories. What is this? What? I don't get it. The Amazing Spider-Man. Does that mean that's the new ones, like the remake? Yeah. Okay, so is it not nostalgia though? Do you think that's making you? Think no, about? I still prefer to watch the originals. Oh right, okay. Because in the originals, the web came out of his hand, like it was part of his body. Well, what does that not happen in there? I think in the amazing he creates he has cartridges of web. Oh right, okay. Is that not I'm sure? Yeah. Okay. Ghostbusters. Um me and Rebecca like anything to do with talking animals, so homeward bound, really, really funny films. Um Christmas films, Sex and City, kinda like thriller type horror films here this now if she likes thriller she should try giving the cube a watch it's a canadian psychological thriller we've got that ready to watch i'm actually quite excited i've, not I've seen watched that. it you need to watch it yeah because <laughs> i'm a lover of thrillers because there's one i'm not a big fan of horrors but i love my thrillers what was that horror because you? they keep you on suspense yeah um what yeah, I do. I do prefer a thriller than a horror. Horrors are getting gory, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. A good horror was grotesque. Oh God, that really was grotesque. I don't. I don't actually recommend anybody watches it. I really don't. You have to re watch it with subtitles because it is a Japanese film. But oh, it's one of the worst films I watched. It made me gag the first time I watched it. What we watched a film with subtitles on. Yeah. It wasn't in English, it was done in Japan. Oh wow, I don't really remember that. I do remember the film though, <laughs> don't watch it. Film, if you've not watched this one, go give this one a watch. And if you've already seen it... Do you remember that? Yeah. That was brilliant. My favourite scene was... Um, don't give scenes away, or is it not really a giveaway? It's not a giveaway, it was when he dreamt it was raining. Oh, that was amazing. That was... You actually thought it was happening, then you, he wakes up and he's still in the same situation he was. That was so out there. Yeah, that was that was really good, the way I did that. I agree. Part of this makes me nearly gag. Uh, middle section of this, and if you've seen it, you'll know why. If you haven't, prepare yourself, because there's a part of this that is absolutely sickening. All I can say is I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it says we agree that was absolutely disgusting. Then this is quite an interesting film. I don't know if this was ever released at the pictures, but 
I saw this one, saw the cover and thought, oh, that looks quite interesting. Actually, it is a really, really good film, that. So go, not the children's version of Frozen, the adult version. <laughs> that is quite an interesting film. So go give that one a watch. Then, talking about comedy romances, this one. This is a really, really good romantic film. And Reese Witherspoon, she's another good actress. I, I kind of think she's similar to Cameron Diaz, really. But, yeah, go give that a a watch then of course not to forget the one and only twilight how can we not forget see I, i've only ever watched the one twilight the first one i don't think i've watched any of the others so i'll have to watch them to see what they're like oh they're amazing you're gonna you're gonna love them definitely right it's amazing amazing question though because this used to really irritate me it was all over facebook when there was a when there was coming out. Team Jacob or Team... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was you? Um, Were you the vampires or the wolves? I don't know because I don't know what I'm basing it off. Like, if I was basing it off who I fancied the most, it would have been Team um, Jacob, 100%. What one was he? Wolf, I believe. Yeah. See, I tended to side with the wolf more. Yeah, they had um a, a real element of uh, what's it called um loyalty. Yeah, they had like a massive element of that. Plus, they it was just I don't know why they had to go down the route they did with the vampires, where they sparkle in daylight. No, this is really getting on my nerves now. I can't think of the other guy's name. Nor can I. And it, oh God, this is really annoying me. Shall we carry on? Yeah. <laughs> Films. Brilliant. Next down is my comedy section. Absolutely love comedy. I'm a big fan of, fan of stand-up comedians. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to leave it here because this is dragging on a bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what we can see in this picture and whether we like those films or not. And also at the end of this video, because we want you to go and watch her video, so we're not going to show it all. We want, uh, you know, at the end of her video, she explains, well, after this little part here, she explains what her favourite movies are of all time. So we'll discuss these videos here that we can see with our eyes now, and then maybe discuss our favourite videos of all time. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Anything jumping out at you? Well, Lee Evans, he's a legend. Yeah, you got to agree with that. The sweats that pours off him. Yeah. It shows he puts so much... Russell so Howard's much. funny. Yeah, I never used to like him, you know, and then, like, suddenly I just started to find him funny. What? Now, I can see one that I like, but you personally don't like. What? And that's Jeff Durham. Jeff, the du guy. Jeff, Jeff Dunham. Oh, yeah, don't, no. Can't stand that puppet. What's, what is it? Silence, I kill you. Is it silence, I kill you? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, God, no. What's wrong with it, though? I don't know. It's not the comedy that I don't like. It just irritates me. A bit like, uh, what was yeah, that Yeah, but one? there's more than just that one. Is there? Yeah. Oh, maybe I've not given him enough, a big enough chance. But I see where you're coming from, because when he first brought Ahmed into the scene, that was all you heard. Going round with that silence, I kill you. Yeah. So maybe it was overplayed, but he is a really amazing comedian, and he does the puppet so well. I think that he really needs to be watched for the whole of the performance, not just that one bit. Tell you what, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. So it's, it's all I can say. Um, Gavin and Stacey don't really need to say anything. Just awesome. It's the the actors that were in it and they've gone on to do such great things like um so, 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 so what's the name <laughs> I'm so bad with names don't ask me for the names of the actors <laughs> the one that basically was in um Ness no or Stacey no his sister oh Ruby yeah what's the name in real life I can't remember no so um, she's gone on, done, gone on to do some amazing dramas. 
like you know when you got three part dramas on like the BBC or ITV, she does. I think it's BBC she works with. I might be wrong. Like she did the cancer one. Um, I think she. Oh, she also did the Cilla Black one. Absolutely amazing. Um, Gavin and Stacey really can't beat it. Can no. <laughs> the the scene with the Chinese is hilarious. Mrs. Brown boy, Mrs. Brown's boys. If you haven't watched that, give it a try. I never used to like it, did I, when we first no. met? Wasn't until I got you watching it and you. It's not rude in a way because there's no actual swear words in it. Is there definitely not? Well, there is, but they're not actual. Not. So there's... no really bad ones. No. Oh, and they're not being vulgar. Well, they are being vulgar in some parts. But she's done great with her uh, her show that she's done. What was that? Yeah. All round to Mrs. Brown's was it? Yeah. That that on the telly is it on the telly still? Yeah, because yeah. that's on record, haven't we? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah, we'll just see any more there. I can't. I can't really read. None much. that I'm a fan of. No. So what we'll do? The is... only one I can I do like that I can't see there is Chubby Brown, but again, you're not a fan of him. Oh no, vile. You know what my nan, my gran used to do? She'd also always give my dad a copy of the DVD of Chubby Brown for Christmas every single year. Not just Chubby Brown. Billy Conley's another good one. Yeah, he's all right. Um, my favourite of all time has got to be, well, there's two. <laughs> Sarah Milligan, I think I've got her name right. Sarah Never Milligan. Never watched her. And Miranda. Yeah. She she's she's great. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a minute and then we'll get back to you and tell you our favourite films. We'll probably pick about three each. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're back. We've uh, just put Netflix on as a backdrop because we watch a lot of movies off Netflix. And yeah, I think Harry, do you want to go first? Your top three. Well, go for four because we've got one that we know we both like. Now you're making it hard. No. <laughs> Three, and then we'll announce our joint one, yeah? Yeah, we'll okay. go for three. So it's got to be short circuit. Yeah. It's an oldie but a goodie. Always like Wally, you know, the cartoon. Where yeah. It always reminds me of that. Yeah. But short circuit came long before that. Oh, yeah, of course. Then it's got to be seven pounds. Yeah, that is amazing. The Cube is another good one. I do like that. Really messes with your brain watching it. So they're your top three? Yeah. Interesting. Now, my top three, number one, top of the list, absolute favourite, The Greatest Showman. I've already done a video about that, so, yeah, go and check that out if you like. But I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I listen to the soundtrack as much as I can. And yeah. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much but you've got to admit you did not think you'd like it and even sometimes you're asking to watch it now yes so i don't have to listen to the soundtrack again <laughs> you never said that no you didn't you said to me <laughs> you said to me these words exactly is it bad that i want to watch the greatest showman yet again yes because all i hear is the greatest showman theme tunes we'll talk about that later anyway <laughs> Edward Scissorhands is an absolutely amazing film. Like, I oh, have music to it. And you hadn't watched it till recently, had you? Yeah, but I'm not that much of a fan of it. Is you not? No. Oh, I've just thought of another film to add. Oh, no, I'm going to take it out. Because he said £7, that was going to be my third. I'm going to change it. The new Beauty and the Beast, like the real life one, that was amazing. Yeah, that was good. Emma Watson pulled that off amazingly, which then... Emma Watson leads on to our joint favourite film films ever. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And we both share our favourite Harry Potter film, which is The Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down, the greatest. And actually, we're working through them at the minute, and Goblet of Fire is next. Um, we're excited. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. um, our reaction video and our response video, in a way. Um. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to the Catwoman 2005's channel. We'll leave a link to her channel at the end. And, yeah. 
that's it. Comment down below about your favourite movies and also see if you could do a response video to her channel as well because she'd absolutely love, she's loving all this interactive stuff and she's a great, great person and her daughter's amazing too. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider um, smash, 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 smash that subscribe button because it would be absolutely amazing for you to do and you'll be able to see our content on the daily. Well, not the daily because we don't upload every day, but pretty much five out of seven days we upload and sometimes there's bonus content as well. So yeah, thanks for watching once again and as always, keep, keep it simple. simple.